Hey everyone, my name is Catherine. Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I'm going to be jumping into ENS domains and specifically a use case happening right now that would benefit greatly from having one of these domains. Yes, the Ukraine is currently accepting crypto donations. And if you've seen their Twitter, they have this long string of numbers, which is not user friendly. If someone shares that on Instagram, it's not like you can copy and paste it. That's where ENS domains come in. I'm going to buy one for them, transfer it to their wallet, Here's how it's gonna go. All right, so let's talk about ENS. ENS is a type of NFT where you are essentially buying the domain name of your Ethereum wallet. So if you've seen on Twitter, for example, uh, if you just type in .eth, you can see a lot of people have the domain name like Vitalik.eth. Basically, that's his wallet address. And if I go to, let's go to Etherscan and I go to Vitalik.eth, creator of ethereum his wallet address you can see in here where he has over like 4 million sitting in here and over 10 million of ethereum so this is his address but an easier way to look at it is vitalik.eth um, so if you want to create or buy an nft for all your name you would buy like you know katherinelavery.eth or your name.eth you can see here it's now pretty common that people's eth addresses are in their name so if i put in for example andrew Chen.eth, we can see that this is his wallet. And in this wallet, he only has his ENS domain in there, which he bought uh, 357 days ago. So this is essentially a NFT for your name, just like a domain name. And to get this, uh, you would just go to ens.domains, go to app. And just like you would look for a domain name, you could put in, you know, zero to DeFi, for example, which is the name of my uh, course. So I could buy this.eth and any payments, instead of sending them my Ethereum wallet address, I could just send them this uh, Ethereum wallet. Now, what gave me the idea to do this video is I saw this Twitter the Ukraine put out. Basically, they are raising money and accepting crypto donations, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and USDT. Now, this is the wallet address that they're sending, which is, you know, an Ethereum wallet address, but it's not very user-friendly. And so what a good thing to do might be is to buy an official .eth address. So you could put in um, like something, you know, if they owned Ukraine.eth, they could have it sent to that Ethereum address. However, you can see that uh, whoever this is, they have bought all of these Ethereum addresses. So they have University of Cambridge, Ukraine, um, and they could sell those just like they could sell a domain. But say, for example, let's say I support Ukraine. Yeah, this is available. So, so what they could do, instead of having this long ass wallet address, they could buy the ENS, so whatever they can get that they want. And then when people want to support it, they just have to remember the easy to remember ETH name instead of this long wallet address, which, you know, this could be easily hacked, not hacked as in like someone will get access to it, but like, say for example, someone's trying to see it on Twitter, it's not a copy and paste thing that they can do. And they're trying to just like type in each number. Like there's so much room for user error. Whereas if it just said, I support Ukraine.eth, that will auto basically fill the right address. So let's say, for example, I wanted to send some Ethereum to Vitalik, right? So Vitalik.eth. There we go. Now, how much easier is that than typing in this long address? And so that is another way you can use NFTs is to do things like this, is to create a basically easy way for you to, you know, track your wallet, see your wallet, um, have people send money to it without having to remember this long ass wallet address. So that's just one other way that you can use NFTs and, you know, the Ukraine could use an ENS to be able to do this. Now, if we look into this wallet, we can see that they have over 5 million in Ethereum. They have over 1.4 million in all these other coins. And if you looked on here, they don't actually seem to have an ENS. So... Yeah, they don't have an ENS that makes it easy to be able to do this. So what we could do potentially is what if we bought this ENS for the Ukraine and we transferred it to this wallet address? Let's see if I can do it. Okay, so the first thing is you are, you could buy it for a year. So let's say uh, the registration for just one year is $5. However, 
with gas fees that comes up to like $53. So you have to connect your MetaMask account. Now let me just double check that I can transfer this if I want. So if you look here, for an ETH name, transfer both the registrant and the controller to a new Ethereum account. Since the .eth names are ERC721 compliant, you can change the registrant by simply transferring the NFT from any NFT compliant wallet marketplace. So I think I can transfer ENS on OpenSea to a new wallet. All right, so I'm going to do this one. All right, so look, gas is a little lower, so it's a little cheaper. I'm going to request to register it. Once it is actually completed, uh, then we're going to go into OpenSea and see if we can transfer it to this Ukrainian ETH address. So luckily gas right now I think is pretty low. So if you, you can go to gas station. Okay, so we can go right here. Yeah, like 63 for a fast transfer. You would not get, get that a few months ago. So uh, it's probably gonna go through pretty quickly. Okay, so step one's done. They wanna make sure that no one in the time that I'm recording this video has tried to get the same name because obviously just like a domain name, you can only have one ETH address per wallet. So once this is done, I will complete registration. I have to pay another round of gas for that. And then what I'll do is I will uh, go on OpenSea and I will set up the transfer. So you can see here that I just have one NFT in this wallet. So once this donateukraine.eth address goes through, what's gonna happen is this will appear in my wallet as what looks like an NFT. All right, so now it's ready to register. Paying like 47 bucks, all right. Okay, so it is officially registered. Now if I refresh this, let's check on Etherscan. So it has registered. Let's see if we manage name. Okay, so it says collected. I now have two. So there we go. So what I could do with this is I can transfer this and I can go to the official Ukrainian wallet, grab it right here, and I can put it in here. And now donateukraine.eth will be transferred to this wallet address. So I'm gonna click transfer. It's gonna cost me seven bucks. And then if we look on Etherscan, this should be done in like 45 seconds. And then what we can do is actually go on to this Ukraine um, Ethereum address and check to see, okay, can you see it in their wallet address? And then we'll try to send them some Ethereum and see if the wallet auto corrects to their address. All right, it says that it's been transferred. Let's, um, okay, so it's still pending. But once it's transferred, okay, there we go. Um, okay, so you can see here that I believe this is the donate Oh, that's what I have to do. So I basically have to, um, otherwise the money's gonna come to me if I don't transfer the controller over to uh, their wallet. So if I click on this, basically get their wallet address, which I'll also get from the Twitter. Then I wanna go to donate. So I'm not trying to be a scumbag here. This is the part where I screw up. And I wanna confirm it because otherwise, essentially they are not able to do anything with this nft so i have to transfer the control over to them and then i believe um that it should work
It will not work. Here's why. Hmm. I wonder if I'm able to do this. Maybe I f***ed up. So... So they have the address, but I wonder you you cannot actually send donate. Okay, so it's still coming up with my address, so that's a problem. Um, okay, so I think um, the Ukraine. <laughs> The Ukraine as a country would have to go in here and change the address to their address, um, which they could do if they just went into ens.domains and just change it to their address so that any donations would come to them and not to the wallet that purchased the NFT, uh, which is pretty simple. But unfortunately, which makes sense, you can't just send an NFT uh, to an Ethereum wallet and have it be uh, auto directed to their name. So, you know, maybe someone is paying attention to the wallet and can see that. Uh, if not, uh, don't donate to me. And if you do, I'll send it on. Now, once it's done, I will show you what I should have done for the last DNS before I sent it off that you could do if you wanted to sort of maybe even gift someone a ENS and change it to their wallet information. So you have to do that prior to sending it, which I did not do. Um, but now I have a better idea how it works, which makes sense because just because you send someone uh, ENS doesn't mean it necessarily will auto complete to their wallet unless you say so. All right, so it actually cost me $22, not 60. Um, so now this wallet address will actually be this ENS account. Now, if we look at this, you can see here that the address that it's going to is my wallet because I bought it and, and the automatic thing for it to do is to put to my address. If I wanted to change this, so say for example, the Donate Ukraine one that I purchased. This is what I should have done before sending the ENS off to the Ukraine. If I wanted to say give this away to someone so say i hadn't sent the donate ukraine i would change this address to their wallet address and that way you could send it to their wallet without needing this long password and you can also put other stuff in here so your email your website avatar description twitter like basically your ens could become a way for people to reach you so for example let's say you had a bunch of NFTs in your wallet and you had this ENS and then someone looked your ENS up and they could find your email and your URL and things like that. They could make a deal with you for those NFTs. However, if you want to keep your information private, uh, you don't obviously want to have all of your crypto attached to your name, attached to your email, attached to your URL or where you live or anything like that. So just putting that out there, but this is how you use ENS. And if we go to OpenSea, what we're going to see here is it hasn't actually completed the information, like the metadata yet. So once this will take maybe a few more minutes, and then once it's done, you'll actually see what the ENS is. But I could sell this on OpenSea. I could transfer it to someone. It is essentially the same as an NFT, but you know it's more of like a domain than, you know, obviously artwork. So that's how you use ENS, and I hope this was helpful. And if you are wanting to get your ETH domain for your name, I would recommend that you do that, because once it's gone, just like a domain name, it is gone. All right, good luck. All right, so I hope you like this content. If you did, don't forget to go and grab your own ENS domain because they're just like a .com domain. Once they are gone, they are gone. So make sure if you're looking for one, grab it today. And if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.